Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Adam Snyder here with Homemade Entrepreneur. Um, got another short video for you. Actually, um, might not even be that short, but anyway, let's get started off. Again, sorry about my voice. Um, been losing my voice. I've been doing a lot of work lately. I've uh, been up late at night. Actually, this video right now that I'm shooting, it's actually 2... 2.37. Eyes are a little blurry. 2.37 in the morning. Um, still working, shooting a video for you guys, so hope you like it. Um, I don't like shooting haul videos because they don't tell you, they don't teach you a whole lot, they don't teach you the process, but <clears throat> I get a lot of requests from, from you guys and uh, from a lot of people on other uh, other websites and other YouTube channels as well coming over asking to kind of show the items I buy, why I buy them, things like that, if I can go a little more in depth. So that's one of the things I'm going to do today. I'm going to scan. Uh, three of the items, and I'm actually explain it to you why I bought these items, and what the price was that I bought them for. <clears throat> but first, it's just a Wii remote um, and a nunchuck or something like that. Um, I bought this for ten dollars at Target, and I believe they sell for thirty-two dollars. Um, so I end up making like uh, ten to twelve dollars profit on that. I actually bought four of those, so it was a good deal. Uh, this thing, it's a mask making kit, uh, makes five or more masks, um, I actually bought this at Value Village, I don't shop there a whole lot, but I bought it at Value Village, um, I think I bought this for 99 cents, and this thing sells for about $21, so that was a good deal right there, uh, make a good profit on that, I buy puzzles, I don't make a whole lot off them, but they're always out there, you can easily find them. Um, I bought both these for 49 cents a piece. Um, I think this one sells, make about seven, eight dollars. This one make about six, five or six dollars off this one. Um, not a big profit, but when you're spending 50 cents on something and you can bring in a five dollar bill, I'll do that all day long. This thing, it's a Sweeney's mole trap. Um, I don't really understand how it works. Has directions on the back. I'm gonna it. Brand new, still in box, never been used. Bought that for a dollar forty-nine, and that thing should bring in about thirteen dollars profit itself. Um, so these next three items are things I'm actually gonna scan. Let me grab my phone here. Um, I'm just gonna use my phone for this one. Um, you can use whatever app you want to use. I'm gonna use Profit Bandit. Uh, seems to work pretty good. <clears throat> so this thing says seven dollars on it. Um, I actually got this on a dollar rack at uh, Lowe's, at a local Lowe's store. So for a dollar, I thought I'd pick this up. Normally sells for twenty four ninety eight. Thought well, if I can't sell on Amazon, maybe I'll keep it for myself. So on Amazon, Amazon is actually selling this themselves for seven dollars. So I bought for a dollar. I could actually make a little bit off of it. However, I checked out this one. This item actually sells for $17 on eBay. So for a dollar, I'd actually rather sell this on eBay. So I actually might do that. But anyway, the reason I bought it, put that down. The reason I bought this, because it was a rank of 64,000 in home improvement. Let's see if you can kind of see that a little bit. 64,875 in home improvement. Now, that to me, if you're spending a dollar on something, I would spend you know, hundreds of dollars on hundreds of these products um, if they're under 100000 because I know I've sold enough stuff in home improvement, they will sell. Okay. Another thing, I only bought one of those things. These things, it's a, a Ryobi Tech 4 um, LED high beam flashlight. I actually bought 17 of these. Um, that they were $14.99 uh, a piece, they'll make about $8 profit each. Um, let's see, actually, I covered it up. But this thing, I think it's actually in like 3000 in home improvement. So, the reason I bought this, obviously, the profit was there. It wasn't a terribly expensive item. $14.99 is more than I spend on a lot of things. But, um, $18 profit per item, about 17 of these. It's going to be good. I'm actually already sent in um, 
The only reason I have this one is because they wanted this, uh, Amazon wanted this item to go to, uh, I believe, Phoenix or somewhere around there, uh, somewhere in Arizona. Um, and it was just that single item. I didn't want to send it by itself, so I was going to wait until I get more items to put along with it. This other thing, it's a Ryobi fan. Um, these things, they were not on clearance, they weren't on sale, nothing. They were $19.99 a piece at Home Depot. I bought, uh, I bought four or five of these in the past. Um, just over this past weekend, I bought two more of these, and I found one the other day. Um, so and that's actually this one right here. The other, the other two that I bought over the weekend, I already shipped to Amazon. Um, but this Ryobi fan, let's see if I can pull it up really quick. Um, it it sells on Amazon for uh, sixty two ninety nine. Um, I bought it for nineteen ninety nine. So I'm gonna end up making about twenty. I think $25, $28 a piece on each one. A um, couple of them uh, in the past it made up to $31 a piece, so it's a great deal. Now, the reason I bought this fan, the reason I even scanned it is because it looked like it was going to be a good deal. Um, and I've sold these before. Uh, you kind of just got to go around, take your phone, take your PDA, whatever you're using, a scanner, go around, scan all the things in the store. Um, yeah, a lot of it's going to be useless stuff that uh, it's not going to teach you anything. It's not going to be something you can buy, nothing like that. But there's going to be those one items, you know, throughout a whole aisle, and you know, maybe one or to five items that you can find that'll make you five to twenty-five dollars a piece. That you can go back to that store, or you can buy them online, you can do anything like that, and you can actually make money off these things. Okay, but this fan um, is actually ranked at thirty-four thousand in home improvement. That's actually fairly good. Um, anything under fifty thousand, I'll buy all day long. Anything over that, it just depends what the profit is. So that's you know, that's kind of how I figured out I wanted to buy these fans. Now, um, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a picture of my actual haul for this past weekend. Uh, I did one day, did a Saturday shopping trip, um, and that's why I'm still feeling a little a little sick. I uh, didn't get much sleep. Um, went to a couple Walmarts, um, Home Depots, Lowe's, Shopco, Value Village, uh, three good, three or four Goodwills, one Salvation Army, um, four Targets. Uh, see, did I say Lowe's? A couple Lowe's, um, uh, one Fred Meyer, and I went to two Big Lots. Um, so I did a lot of shopping, did a lot of driving around. Uh, all in all, I should off the. The picture that I'm going to show you at the end of this video, I spent about $680 on all the stuff. Um, after fees, I should make about $1,600 profit. So, it was a great deal. Um, had a lot of fun. Took my kids, took my family. Uh, we made a day out of it. Um, they're still a little sick right now. Uh, maybe because of it, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I think I have the worst of it, but you know, if you uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, I'll try to do another haul video. I'm actually gonna follow up this video with another video on uh, things that you should sell in the fourth quarter, what you shouldn't sell. I've been getting a lot of questions about that as well, so I'm gonna actually talk about that after this video. Um, so if uh, you get done with this, make sure you watch the next one, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, take care. Make sure you click this link uh, to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And uh, take a, take a picture, take a look at my picture. See what you think. If you have any questions, comments, comment below. All right, take care.